It's just so beautiful and I love being here. city in the entire world, Washington DC, and I am going to be going exploring today. Everybody keeps asking me why I'm here. I literally just came because I just love this city and I just wanted to be here. And I have a couple friends here, so I had dinner with my friend Julia last night. We've actually never met in person before, so that was really fun. We went to Tip Cow, which is a Laotian restaurant here in DC, and it was phenomenal. And then I was so exhausted after waking up early to work on a project and to get on the road to get here that I came back here and took a shower and just knocked out. I was so tired. So I got myself a hotel room because originally I was supposed to be staying with my friend Zach, but I thought I was gonna have to bring Moo with me. And so I needed to find a place that was gonna be dog friendly. And then at the last minute, one of the girls from my cohort, Hannah, offered to watch Moo. So Moo is back in New Haven and I couldn't cancel this reservation so I figured I might as well stay in it and I am staying in Foggy Bottom and I've never stayed in this part of town before. I've always stayed like up near Capitol Hill and in Alexandria. So I'm excited to explore a slightly different part of town, but I have today pretty much entirely to myself to just kind of solo explore. I do have a lunch planned with one of my previous clients that accepted. So I'm gonna meet Sarah at Bluestone Lane later today. And this morning, I think I'm actually gonna go get a bagel at uh, Call Your Mother. I've never been there before, but there's this girl that I follow on Instagram. Her name is Ashley and her handle is History in High Heels. And I love her account. And I remember her making a TikTok or something along those lines about this particular bagel shop. So I'm gonna go there and get a quick bite, but I have a full day to just go exploring and I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm just so excited to be back in my favorite city. I haven't been here since before the pandemic. I was here in December 2019 with my friends and I'm so excited to be back. So let's go ahead and go get exploring. Also, now that I am actually going out and about, I am wearing normal people clothing. I'm expecting it to be a little warm today, so I have my favorite like paper bag shorts that I got from J. Crew literally five years ago and this top that I honestly don't quite remember where I got it and then this is from Zara so cute outfit I haven't put shoes on yet but I'm just gonna put on probably some loafers and head out the door and go grab a bagel I just got back from Call Your Mother. I got the No Meat Sun City Bagel, which was the one that Ashley had in her video. So I wanna actually come back multiple times while I'm here and try a couple different ones. But I also got the Strawberry Shortcake Seasonal Latte and it is so freaking good. And I am just on cloud nine. I was walking down the street and this old couple walks by me and like said good morning. I just, ugh. I love DC so much. I've wanted to move here for, I don't even know how long, since I was like in fifth grade, I guess. And I normally come twice a year. This is the longest I've gone not coming to DC since community college. So it's been a hot minute. I just love this city so freaking much and I cannot wait until the day that I get to move here. I'm hoping that I get to move here when I'm ABD. So fingers crossed. Luckily, there's a lot of archives. I, I drove by the National Archives and like immediately had a moment of just like such pure happiness that I could like cry. I just, I love it here so much. I think I'm now gonna go be a tourist and go sit at the Jefferson Memorial and journal and like just think and like just chill out because I am in my favorite place in the entire world. And one thing that I always did when I came here was that I would go sit at the Jefferson because it was always less crowded than the Lincoln and just contemplate. So that's what I think I'm gonna do.
by the Potomac, and there's like a lot of people around, which is kind of awkward, but the last time I was out here was in 2018, and I was contemplating whether I should go to graduate school, and I was feeling really lost and confused about where I should go with my life, and this is right before I decided to go to Oxford, and it feels weirdly full circle to be here at the end of my first year as a PhD student. Sorry for like all the background noise. There's a bunch of helicopters and planes flying above, but it's just so beautiful and I love being here. It just makes me feel so happy. Like I truly believe that DC is like where my heart is and I can't wait to move here someday. I'm no, going the Jefferson, but it's got scaffolding all over it. The first time I came out here as an adult was when I was, I think I was 21 and they were doing construction on the Jefferson, I remember, but you can kind of go inside, it's just not quite the same. So I'm just sitting here, running my journal for a little while. <sighs> just feels so nice. All right, I just had lunch with Sarah and then I went down to Georgetown and was gonna do some shopping, but everywhere I went, just didn't have anything that I wanted to buy. And I went to Lauderay, like a typical tourist, and got some macaroons. And now I'm gonna head back to the hotel. It is drizzling and I feel really sweaty from like walking around and I need to like, put powder back on my face. But I had such a fun time with Sarah. She was a previous client of mine and she got into two of her programs. So congratulations to her. She's still waiting to hear back from one. So I'm really excited for her. And we ended up hanging out for almost two hours, which was wonderful and then I came down to Georgetown and like I said, just kind of struck out. I tried a couple different places. I looked at Aritzia, I went over to Reformation, and just didn't really find anything I was that interested in buying and I'm not gonna spend money just for the sake of spending money. So if I really loved something, I would have gotten it, but that's all good. I could just save a little bit of money, but now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna like lay down for a while and then I have dinner with Zach this evening in Alexandria. Zach was one of my best friends from undergrad and I am so excited to see him. I haven't seen him since 2019. So I'm gonna get going and then I will check in with you all later in the day. Alright, so my other camera has now died and I somehow forgot to pack the charger, so I'm gonna try to go to Target and see if I can find a cord for it, but I am back on my M50 and I am all dressed up for dinner. I have on my little Zara blazer type thing. This shirt is actually from The Loft. I forgot in my last vlog and then I just have on some American Eagle jeans and my loafers. I'm ready to go meet up with Zach in Old Town. Very excited. I love Alexandria, but I love seeing my best friend even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab the car and head on across the river. Good morning, friends. It is the next day. I wanted to just hang out with Zach and not bring my camera. Also, he's a little camera shy, so I wanted to respect his privacy. And we had a really nice time. We had some Thai food and then I went back to his apartment and we hung out for a little while. He's now living near Old Town North in Alexandria and he lives in such a nice apartment. I wish I could move here sooner. I really, I just love DC so much. But this morning I was going to kind of scrap my plans to go try to shoot content, but the weather is, it's bad, but it's not terrible. And there's one particular type of shot that I wanna get at the Lincoln Memorial and I'm gonna go try to do it. If it doesn't work out, that's fine, but I wanna give it a try because I feel like I'll regret it if I don't. The concept is based on Scandal, if you guys have watched it. There's this scene where Olivia Pope is wearing like pretty much this exact same outfit. So it's this white Lululemon running jacket and yoga pants and she is like about to try to go for a run and then is like accosted by the media and is forced to board a plane um because her dad wants her to flee washington dc and i've always wanted to take a photo kind of inspired by the look that she had in that scene so i'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of makeup head over to lincoln and see if i can get this shot All right, 
I'm done shooting content at the Lincoln. I'm exhausted and I also pulled a muscle in my hip somehow. But I got what I wanted, I got the shots. I'm very happy with it. And now I'm gonna go ahead, get back to my car and go pick up coffee and then meet up with Zach. We're gonna go book shopping today. So it'll be a fun day. I'm very glad that I decided to get out of my hotel room and actually shoot content. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab coffee because I'm starving. To second story books in Rockville, Maryland. They have this massive warehouse and they have a smaller secondhand bookstore in DuPont Circle or near it. And Zach told me about this warehouse and I got all of these books for $15, which is amazing. So I'm trying to film this before Zach gets back. I know he's not going to want to be on camera, but I got Women of the Republic. The Peopling of British North America, The Colonial Era with Herbert Aptheker. I got another copy of Founding Brothers because mine was stolen a couple years ago. And then I got this one book about Harvard Law. I'm filming, but don't worry, you don't have to be on camera. <laughs> I don't mind that particularly. But anyway, I got a very good haul for only $15, which is a huge feat. How was your haul? I mean, I was here a few weeks ago, so. Well, Zach, art, course, Zach got a bunch of art history books. Mine are all history. All right, now we're gonna head back to the city, find some food, and then see what else we get up to. Good morning, everyone. It is the last day here in DC. Last night I went out with Zach and Tori. We went to Farmers and Distillery, and then we went to this one place for dinner. And we started dinner at like 5.15, 5.30. We were out till like 9.30, 9.45 which was really fun. It was really nice to just hang out with them. And I didn't come, I didn't bring my camera because I thought it had died, but I just found another battery pack. But it is my last morning here. I am heading back to New Haven. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then hit the road. So this means that we have come to the end of the vlog. I hope you all really enjoyed it. This was one of my favorite vlogs to film and I just had such an incredible time. I think it was pretty obvious that I just absolutely love it here. And it was a much needed mental, reprieve from everything that's gone on in the last year and I just love it here. It's my happy place and I'm so glad that I was able to visit and see my friends and I am now heading back to New Haven to go see Moo and to get my life put back in order. I have a lot of things that are coming up in the next week and I am starting a whole new challenge for the month of June. So very busy month ahead. I'm gonna be back on my vlogging schedule, so I should be uploading at least twice a week for pretty much the rest of the summer. So keep an eye out for more videos. I hope you all are as excited as I am. I'm looking forward to finally being back in the swing of things. With finals, I had to kind of take a little bit of a pause from YouTube, but I'm glad to be back. More vlogs to come, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.